This is a Summer Hill Glen, alias Fairy Glen, at dusk. It's not lit up yet, but it's basically a glen with lots of uh, waterfalls in it and and these posts with LED lighting and other stuff on top. And lots of bridges, lots and lots of bridges. And seasonally the place is illuminated. Not sure what time the lights come on at. There's a projector up there, it projects down onto that wall to make fairies appear on random occasions. Uh, more waterfalls and it's notable that the ideal waterfall here is the one that has the white water because the white water really takes the light very well off the LED lighting. And when I was young, I was brought here by my grandmother, my gran on my mother's side. And she told me she was taking me to Fairy Glen and there'd be fairies and things like that. And I was really, really young at the time. And it was just for a kid to be taken into a place like this. It looks small now, but it seemed huge at the time. And it had all this illumination. It had all the festoon lighting and the illumination under the bridges, which uh, was fluorescent tubes at that point in time, fluorescent tubes with gel covers. And it had illuminated characters. And the illuminated characters were generally sort of either fiberglass or plastic uh, low molded plastic objects and guess they might actually have been fiberglass with just lamps inside them but it was so magical at night time that this place lit up and it may have had a huge factor in the direction my life took career wise in fact I think I can safely say it did have a huge factor because uh, afterwards uh, after this trip here I was collecting all manner of plastic shampoo and bubble bath type bottles and animal shapes from the shops and putting light bulbs inside them. And then ensued a career that went on to working in the theatre industry, working in television and film, working in Disney parks and Universal stuff, just everything. Now this is a part of the Christmas display here. It's very simple. It's a sort of cordoned off garden area. And all they've got is standard fake Christmas trees with standard lights in them. And you think, well, that's quite cheap, but you know what? It works really well. And the beauty of this, it's just sheer genius, is that when stuff gets vandalised, because people always vandalise illuminated stuff, it attracts that type of people. When it gets vandalised, they can just uh, replace it. You know, it's very easy to just plug new stuff in and replace it, and uh, it's cheap to replace, unlike the usual municipal lighting stuff. It's, it's very good. And this park goes on, this uh, glen goes on for a modest uh, distance, and then it comes up to a road up over there. Um, so hopefully, I'll be coming here before Christmas in the evening with my brother, Ralphie, and uh, I'll film it while it's illuminated because it's worth it because it just looks spectacular at night. It just looks fantastic. Um, just all these illuminated paths and waterways. It's very, very magical. So um, I thought I'd share this with you guys. It's uh, Summerhill Glen in Douglas Nile of Man.
That is adorable. Flashing present. So back from Summerhill Glen, alias Fairy Glen, and I'm back at the bench and I can't even start to explain that the only way you're going to ever experience what a glen like that looks like is to actually go into one because the video gives an idea of what it looks like but it doesn't, your eyes are so much more sensitive to light than a camera can be and it's just spatial, it's all round you, it just extends into the sort of infinity. It's a really amazing experience to go, that's obviously why it had the huge effect on me when I was young. And there are other illuminated glens around the UK, there's um, the Enchanted Forest in the UK, um, and I'll put a link to that down below in the comments in fact, um, and by all means if you've got links to other um, similar illuminated outdoor features around the world then leave a link in the, the comments, but remember that if you leave an actual clickable link, it won't show up immediately because all these things have to go th through an approval process. So just don't worry if it doesn't appear initially. But um, material-wise, if you wanted to create something like this in your garden a smaller scale, low voltage LED lights, these are not low voltage LED lights, but you could use low voltage LED lights. LED floodlights retrofitted with coloured LEDs. Um, again, if you wanted to go the all low voltage approach, you could get the uh, low voltage version of these lights that operate on 12, on 12 to 24 volts. And you could even, if you were just having a little summer event, you could get the rechargeable LED floodlights and swap the LEDs in them, as I've featured in previous videos. So, it's easy to create something on a much smaller scale, but uh, nothing can beat the full-size glens for the visual stimulation uh, when you visit them. So, um, yep, definitely a good experience, something you should try to do at some point in your life, is visit one of these illuminated glens just to get that spatial lighting experience.